Hello there, my name is Sean Paul Moorman, your favorite audio expert. In our series about broadcast IP, we will be talking today how to build up and plan your stage tech installation in a complete IP broadcast environment. Actually connecting our existing consoles, their core or processing, and of course the base devices, which become edge or endpoints when connected over IP. Getting intrigued how we build up the StageTech Full IP, ST2110 compatible and while maintaining StageTech superb audio quality and time alignment, you get the answer right after following clip. Thanks for staying with me and continue this topic, how to build up your stage tech installation in a complete IP broadcast environment. If you're familiar with our systems, then you know that stage tech has evolved with new technology standards and formats. Since 2005, IP has been gradually put into use. Dante, Ravenna and IS67 opened up towards audio over IP. In 2018, the IP-based console Avatus was introduced, followed one year later by providing Nexus Network IP connectivity. StageTech Full IP became a fact. Building up such a system with existing hardware will work as StageTech provides the corresponding IP connectivity. Logically, we enable you to upgrade your existing Nexus base devices with ST2110 network ports. And now it's time to dive how to interconnect all this. When considering a full IP-based system, you have to bear in mind the four elements we have to provide. First, connecting your control surfaces over IP, access to the processing cores, transporting your content from and to the edge points in an IP format, and finally controlling your network resources. A signal management system is being developed at StageTech to control our new range of IP products as our existing systems. The Avatus console range connects over IP to its core. The edge points, we still call them base devices, connect nowadays over IP in a 702110 matching format. The setup of this system is to manage signals within an island. While all islands can be controlled by an overarching orchestrator using standard protocols. The Avatus has a modular design, internally IP connected, and can work decentralized at different locations in the network. The Avatus has no central control units because all of the touchscreens have full access and control to all parameters. This gives you the ultimate flexibility to physically change the surface size to position the consoles anywhere in the building and connect to your choice of processing core, all by changing some IP addresses which in turn are stored in the console project. We managed to provide a console to core connection over IP. Let's now move on and build a Nexus network over an IP backbone. The Nexus fiber-based network was TCP IP layer 1 using the same SFPs as any IT hardware but being proprietary. Nexus is also 32 bits, combining 24 bits audio and 8 bits for protocol, according to the original IS3 with transparent mode. So, 702110-31 gave us the possibility to apply the same principle. The Nexus protocol flows transparently to the destination. ST2110 has not reinvented the wheel, just another path to get there. We name it Nexus IP Link and you have now the possibility to interconnect the Nexus base devices over a TCP IP layer 3 network or interconnect them over your broadcast data center or the internal switch of an OB van. Providing the ST2110 endpoints or edge points with IP audio format interfaces is not a challenge as we provide any audio format or standard. How does StageTech provide those resources? 
Nexus still is a huge format converter and connection node. Since more than 10 years we provide audio over IP formats. When ST2110 was published, we immediately provided interfaces with ST2110-30 or the 24-bit format and ST2110-31, the 30-bit or transparent version. To communicate to third-party ST2110 equipment and simultaneously manage the audio streams, NMOS can be used next to the standard protocols as Ember Plus, RTSP and other as used in broadcast industry. Finally, as we now have all the parts, we can start to build our StageTech full IP system. Let's have a look. Presume the switch or IP network is already set up. A standard procedure in broadcast IP, we use switches set up with three VLANs. The green or control network, also the red and blue or main and redundant network, PTP connected redundantly with a master and secondary setup, according to ST2110-10. All other ST2110 resources as video servers, distribution contribution equipment are connected to the same network or broadcast data center. In this example we set up two consoles in two control rooms. The cores are connected to the switch as the base devices are. The redundancy is bidirectional as the consoles can work with the other core. The base devices are common and available to both users. Audio is connected in ST2110 format over the red and blue network according to ST2022-7 seamless switching. Each gallery can be seen as an island having its local signal management system. StageNet is not limited to control the IP-related elements of StageTech equipment, but also third-party. Those islands in their turn can be managed by an orchestrator working as an overall umbrella. To wrap this all up, StageTech is able to offer a full IP solution wherever productions are traditionally with galleries and studios, or a combo with mobile OB vans and different types of remote productions. We also decided to move forward with StageNet signal management, fully supported and in cooperation with partners. Signal management made simple. Take it you got a few answers now and giving you an insight how to build up and plan your StageTech installation in a complete IP broadcast environment. Connecting over IP or existing consoles, their core or processing, and of course the base devices, which become edge of endpoints when connected over IP. Stay tuned for future updates. I'm Jean Paul Moorman. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bis die Tage. Servus.